All right, so last week you guys took out three of these weird alien creatures. and One ran away. <coughs> one ran away and was almost <clears throat> dead. Ran through the door here. And headed off. Now, you all find yourselves here. You've healed up a little bit. And you're ready to press on. Cleoc, you are able to see the ceiling from this position, as you asked. It's only about 30 feet up. So when it, so when the, en the enemy jumped to the ceiling, he turned in. Yes. Got it. All right. Any other questions? Not at the moment. Okay. One of you had mentioned you wanted to check the door. Who was that? I checked to see if it's locked. If so, I call Yonovan. It is not. It's actually not even shut all the way. Cautiously push it open and down the hall. It's dark. So you're the only one with that, with that night vision. Right. He is human. Anyone else want to look down the hallway? Because I can't see very far. Yeah, I can go check. I believe it was Cleok and Cookie are the only ones without night vision. Is that true? I have night vision. Or dark vision. Yes, right. I was saying, I said Cleok and Cookie are the only two who do not. No. Um. Okay, so you wanted to go look down the hall where Cookie was, Talon? Yeah. Yeah. You see a long, empty hall that branches at two points. I'm going to try and reconnect. I'm getting insane, like, late. Okay. Stuff. Hmm. Okay, it branches out at... Pretty much as soon as you step out here, it branches out. This way and this way. You see one right up, right basically where you are, and then the one up ahead. It's your call. I don't know which way to go. Do we go left or right on a branch, always guys? Right. We got here with always right. Always right. So this way. Yeah. I'll back you up. Come on, guys. You coming? Yep. By the way. When you looked in that hallway, what did you see? The table finished building. I just saw a long hallway, that's about it. Uh, yeah, but you passed areas. another hallway. So I, you I guys the DM what you saw. may be rolling horrible. Doesn't mean I am. And that's not always a bad thing. All right. Down that hallway, you just saw another hallway that came to a T. Would be yeah, what I, those I'm... with dark vision saw. <sighs> right. Moving yeah, much the standees is not something I can do right now. Yeah, it was lagging okay. bad for me for a second there. No I'm going to do a test roll here to see how much latency I have, so please ignore this one. I do see that you have oh, that 165. I'm, I'm seeing you have a ping of 165, and Macaulay has 764. So actually rolling was quick. Okay. Wait, so I have 700 for my ping? Yes. 764. Interesting. I'm going to... I'm going to leave and join back again because it says my ping is 51. Okay. It says my ping is 53. Interesting. It says mine's 150. It doesn't show me yours. But now this stuff's not moving again. Do I need to restart it? I'm in. All right, so we'll 
we'll let them quickly try to come back in before we open that door. So when Macaulay left, uh, everything is like passed for me now. <laughs> so Macaulay was at fault. All right. <laughs> I cannot believe it's this. Because I'm playing on my... with the twenty. I was going to have it be where the target was. I did get an error saying that state uh, peer-to-peer session failed with uh, R. Macaulay. Yeah. Four. Whatever that means. I suspect it means that Steam uses a distributed pretty cool. By the way, the Talon heal uh, Yonovan. The what? what? Because I was asking if Talion healed Yonovan because you were at 7 hit points. Cookie did that. Cookie no, did Cookie, that. Healed, Cookie healed Cleok. He didn't heal Yonovan. Really? Cookie, <clears throat> what did you do? That is correct. I healed Cleok because it's our front lane damage. Okay. Just wanted to get it verified. So that means if Yonovan wants to be healed, he can request healing from Talon. That'd be really nice, Talon, if you have extra healing you can do. And how much are you down? I'm down to eight or seven from eighteen. I'm at seven from eighteen. Right. I'm down eleven. Uh... Am I still showing really bad lag? No. I was when I came back. Okay. I don't see your figure anywhere, Yonovan. I noticed that when I joined. Again, yeah. it, it was, was there. Did it get thrown into the DM area somehow? Mm, oh, there he is. He's, he's over here by blue. Oh, oh you got it? Helping him over. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it was very laggy moving it around. Okay. So I managed. Shh. Yeah. Add 14. Flown away. Yonovan, you got 14 health. Woohoo! So I'm at four. Dang, that's a good roll. <laughs> I know. You, I'm up by 14 or up to 14? Up, up by 14. Up 14. Nice. I'm you get fourteen health, points. Yeah, I'm. By the way, I'm out of heal. I'm out of healing spells. Interesting. Um, Steam, are you downloading stuff? You are. You naughty thing. <laughs> That's probably not helpful. Okay. So, I take it there's a... around the corner and there's another door here? Yep. Is it a closed door or like a grated door thing? It's a half-closed door. Oh, well that's oddly promising. Yeah, and it's actually so, what's there is even worse, what comes next, which nope. I've actually commented Holy on the video. So who's going in first? Not it. Rio is going to peek in very stealthily and not try to make any sort of thing that would be noticeable. And that's my stealth check. That's your stealth? Then you need to move up to the door and peek in. You see a female in a cage in the center of the room. Okay, uh, should probably do a perception roll to see if I see anything else, huh? Yeah, Absolutely. that one's pretty evident since there's light around her and she's right there. <sighs> All right, come on, D20. Uh, 12 perception. You don't see anything else. You see some it's... random junk piles and stuff, but nothing else of notice. I'm going to step back out into the hallway and tell my team members very quietly and stealthily what I saw. I still can't believe that. That is crazy. Cool. Now let's see how many guards she has. So I think it's an illusion. We should shoot her. 
up. Well, what? four guards, all right. Can we please keep out of character and in character speaking uh, separate? <laughs> Because if your character really said that in real life, I'm gonna kind of clear it. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, but, so I think that this is maybe maybe she's still alive. This could be the druid lady. Did she look druid like? Yeah. Did she? Look I think so. <laughs> so I, I can't look. move my figurine again, but. So she was. Oh, yeah, she yeah, was in some sort of. Some cave or something? Oh, uh, not cave, yeah. cage or something? Yes, she's <laughs> in a cage. Bars. Oh uh, you know, either way, we should probably free her since I don't think the people in this area have lawfully um, imprisoned her. So, can we sneak in and take her and leave without bothering anyone? No. Uh, possible, but... Wait, let me... Wait, wait. Nate, Nate, can I use that same stealth check to go in there and uh, reach the the cage? Or so we'll have probably have check. to roll a new can one because you did come back to the group and stop stealthing. Can you unlock the okay. cage? Okay. Well, yeah, I couldn't unlock the cage. So I need to be the one that stealths in there and unlocks the cage. I also am not... Oh, gosh, I'm showing 700 millisecond pain here. This is not great. My internet speed test says it's fine, though. So I don't know what's between me and Oklahoma. Do I need it's to restart well, the server? I don't. My ping shows I'm pretty fine. high, but everything seems to be playing okay. Okay. Yeah. Then it's up to Yanovin. Yanovin. If, I'm, if I'm the one, I can hear y'all just fine. So if I, y'all have to move I'm having people, issues I'm too, fine. Yanovin. So I'm just going to have other people move the, my standing. Because I, if, you, if you can view the table... Then let's keep going if you guys are okay with it, and we'll designate whoever seems to not be having a problem to move them, or I can move them for you. Just let me know where you're moving so I can put I you mean, in the right place. I'm, you're still grayed out in spectator mode so that I don't see the map yet. What do I did assign you. You should be purple. Hasn't come through yet. Okay. Well, that's all right. You can still point. So, Is Macaulay, it better now? Macaulay left, and yes, I can move my, my guy now. Well, you okay, left, so I think it dropped to 66. Uh, it must have been my laptop. Let me get it started on my computer, my desktop then. All right. So, who's going to do what? I, I, w I, want to, I want to take a peek in and try and disbelieve an illusion, because Yonovan suggested that this was an illusion <laughs> to trap us. And you're trusting Yonovan? No, he's not trusting me. He's an ally of convenience for right now. So in this case, yes. Okay. Because I've because I've already been you know bitten and poisoned and all of that stuff. Go ahead and roll. Uh, would that? What would that be? Intelligence, ish. Yes, it's an intelligence check. Oh, goody. You believe there is a woman in front of you. Okay. I love that hey, it's Spectator assumed it's cannot interact. Click your name on invisible. the top right. Change colors and select a colored circle. It's not working. Okay, I did assign it to you. So what's the desktop do? now, Ryan? Yeah, is it so bad for me? The internet. Yeah. Well, never mind. Now is it working? E yes, it is. <laughs> so it's something between Yanavan and Ryu. And me. Okay, yeah, well, we'll just blame Cox. <laughs> well guys I mean if we can sneak in let's sneak in else let's just rush rush in grab her and rush out we don't even know if it's her well, well it's someone it's in, in, a, a cage. It's in a cage so well I would You're suggest right. that I would suggest that when we go in we ask her what her name is okay fair and enough what, what does her name have to be huh 
there's a... Well, I didn't write it down, so... <laughs> Creature. Strude girl, right? I I actually, I might have wrote it down. Let me... Let me... <laughs> Let's just assume I didn't write it down. I wrote some stuff down, <laughs> but I don't think I wrote her name down. There's a creature in each of the four corners well, hidden in the garden. Okay, we're down looking down for a lady aware. named Monda. Monda. So the leader of the okay. group remembers the task. Well done, leader. So, I do agree. Let's go in there, ask her name, and she'd be like, why should I tell you my name? Stuff. Do you want out? Then again, if we say, are you Manda? She'd be like, yes, I'm yeah. Manda, because you're going to rescue me. So how are you going to ascertain the truth? from? He's going to look for the name tag on the cell. <laughs> okay, as long as we have a strategy. <laughs> this seems like slow logic to me. Can you guys see any any other combatants in the room? Is it open? How big is the room? Only one it's person's dark. looked. Uh, I described everything I could see, which I assume was I saw no combatants. Did I see how big the room was? You saw it was and I 55 saw feet. Files. Yeah, you saw it was like 55 feet across, as you see here on the screen. Okay. And you did see some piles so of garbage of various sizes. Garbage clutter, you're not I, sure. I told them how... mm. Okay. I, yes, I, I saw that it's a fairly large room with lots of piles of garbage. There could be enemies hiding behind those, or perhaps in the rafters with these crazy things. Yeah, it's not... Dang. It's probably unlikely that... <clears throat> if they were waiting in this room, it's really unlikely we would see them before they see us. It's true, they were known to be invisible. Um, does anyone have okay. anything to bolster stealth? Um, not talking? Right. <laughs> they, are, they already know we're here. I say we just go in defensive, quiet, defensively, but not necessarily... I wouldn't expect stealth to work, no matter how, okay. how stealthy we actually are. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's just all barge in. No, let's try and be stealthy, but not expect it to work. You don't have to try for failure. True, we should, yeah. we should all roll stealth checks, but we should all move in at the same time rather than sending one person in alone. Okay. I'm okay. agreed with this plan. Yeah, yeah that sounds good. Let's get stealth checks. I can't roll a d20. I don't want lot man. But I have one on my desk, so I can just roll that. <sighs> Metal die. 19. I, I like our rolls here. there. Let's see here. 8, 10, 18. Wow. <laughs> I, uh, I rolled an 8. Right on par with everyone else. Except, Except yeah, for, yeah. Except big, for Talon. <laughs> It failed me, this dollar chunk of metal. So, yeah. Hey, no one got a crit, uh, crit fail, so that's a, a mm. bonus. Right, but I have, I'm flat. I have no modifiers. It's I, just eight. I'd also like to take a defensive stance as I'm going in. Can you do that and be stealthy at the same time? I don't know. I don't see why not. But that's I guess you're a monk, so you probably can. It would make sense if you could. Yeah. Uncertain, but, we can wait. figure it out for next time. You're a rogue, and you don't have any bonus to your stealth? I'm not he's a not rogue. a rogue. Oh, he's not a rogue. Oh. Then how no. can you pick locks? He's an artificer. You don't need All rogues right. to pick locks in this game. Yeah, I know. Well, Talon, okay. it looks like we're going to die. Hold on. So Talon I and Cleok are in the room. Did the rest of you choose to move in as well? Yes, in in what yes. order? I moved in with them. Okay, what order? Talon's in front, I'm behind him. I'll go after that. Um um I'd like um, to be near the front since I'm the only late combatant. Um guys? Yes. Guys. I have a light source. Oh, he said the room was lit. 
hard. Yeah, there, there's already no, light no, no, in the room. So around all the her is people lit. Can see. The light oh. is around the trap. Yes, but uh, no, I don't want to go in the room because I can't see. And probably go in and probably go on the side. That area is lit. Well, sorry, Mr. It. That area is lit. You know is what? it well lit or dimly lit? Dimly lit. I'm just coming in because um, I still have light stuff. Okay, so Cookie has light on him still, so he's shining yeah, around I'm, him. I'm tired of trying to move my Cookie, now. did you want to be up in... Cookie, you just moved yourself out of the room into the either. wall. You're out of the wall. Hold on. Tell me the yeah, order you guys go in the room. I probably went in first. Probably going in last because he has light on him. Okay. You can probably go in and go to the side. Cookie, I feel like where I'm do you want your character? Them. Put your mouse cursor over where you want your character. Okay. Um, probably starting out about here. Okay. Cleok, where did you want yours? Right there? Okay. You're right there right now. Yonovan, where did you want? I can't even see the map, so... <laughs> okay. I want, to, I want to be behind Talon, wherever he is. Okay. Talon, where do you want to be? Um, basically where I put my character right here. Okay, so you're right there. Yeah. And Ryu, did you just move yourself to where you want to be? Yep. Excellent. Just making sure. I thought we'd just confirm. So if you want to be with Talon, you need to move up. All right. So. I've already got my initiative roll ready in my uh, calculator thing. Good, because we'll need perception check from everyone who's in the room. Okay, which perception is... Um... Perception. Well, that... Perception that, is that's, the same oh, as, okay. that's the same as my initiative roll, which is also balls. Hey! Haha! <laughs> 18. Oh, damn. I got 10. Ah! Uh, I was rolling so good! I see. It was no. nice knowing you all. Okay, yeah, no, so, right. Yonovan, <clears throat> you need to decide in what manner you're going to scream at the party. Uh, okay, well, it depends on what I see. <laughs> How many individuals do I see? You see four sets of eyes, and unfortunately, they're not even spawning for me, even though it said they did. Are they in front of me, behind me, on the side? In the corners of the room, hiding in the piles. Like like a set of eyes in each corner? Yes. Great. I am going to tap my hand on Talon's shoulder. And when he looks at me, I, I point my finger off casually in the corners and whisper, There is eyes in every corner. My response is crap. <laughs> and I put my hand behind me and kind of like, uh, with like four fingers out, uh, uh, point at a corner and say four. <clears throat> and I get my gun ready. <laughs> okay. But I don't. I don't go to attack them. 
I continue on our path to the center to see if we can get in and get out without fighting all of them. They look very similar to the eyes you've seen before. Okay. I'm wondering... Do, do we notice point... these, these motions by Yonovan? Yeah. If you understand what he means or not, it's debatable. A world to understand. Um, I'm going to... You guys can get initiative ready. I'm going to go get the dog's food, and I will be right back, and we'll pick up with where we go from there. Initiative will come into play loosely right now until a fight actually breaks out. But initiative will still help us keep things orderly. So I will be right back. Okay. We totally won't Strategize. Manage. Or we will. I'm just saying, well, if, if we move to one corner, can we take out one of them and see if the others actually attack? Mm, they will attack. Of course attack. they're going to attack. Maybe not. If we get just one corner, the others might You're, not realize they're being attacked. I mean, if y'all can understand what I'm saying, you could also form, like, an exit column and not really come in all the way. And the two of us could go to the center, try and unlock, and exfil. Yeah, I don't think any of those plans are going to work I, out terribly well. I, I think killing them is the best. I don't like that plan. I think it would take too long to actually unlock the cage. I think I think we're here. I think we've got a fight on our hands, no matter what. And having two people down for the beginning of the fight is not a good idea. It, I mean, if they come to attack us, we're going to fight them. We're not going to keep trying to unlock it. Dude, but if I get a natural twenty or a high score and an unlock before they come to attack us, I mean, it is possible to grab and go. It's also possible that if we free her, she can help us. Right. Fight. All right. I think we should protect you while you unlock, but I don't expect them to ignore you unlocking their prisoners since they're apparently guarding or at least somehow related to the people holding her captive. Well, I've got good news and bad news. Since you don't agree with me, you get to go first. I guess I rolled a two. <laughs> I, get, I get to go ahead of you, but behind everyone else. You rolled a three? No, I rolled a ten. Okay. But I'm pretty sure everyone was 11 and higher. Let me, uh... Cookie's a 9. What's my... Oh, number? no, I'm sorry. Nine. No? I'm an 11 for... Cookie's a 10. What initiative is Charisma mod? Initiative, no, initiative is Dex. Is Dex? Is Dex? <laughs> yes. Oh, wow! <laughs> I have no, ad no pluses there, then. Okay, I got an 18. All right. So, what are you gonna go first? <laughs> you gonna attack something or what? Or are you I would. Going to... Fireball kid gets uh, go first. Well, actually, I rolled Boy. twenty-one, so I get to go first. Take up a defensive position around the uh, the door to the prison, because assuming that she appears to be conscious, I thought, like not unconscious on the ground in the cell. If she's conscious, she might be able to help us or at least. You know, give us a warning or something. That's true. Or, or we can save her and run out the door at the end. Fight him That's in the hallway. True. I kind of like the dog piling one of them in the corner and just trying to kill one off the top. Random right idea. Off the bat. Uh, the room's not big enough, assuming that they don't ignore us killing their friend. Okay, okay, just, just a random thought here. Yeah. If we don't have time to pick a lock, yeah. depending on the type of mechanism is, I might be able to shoot the lock or shoot the chain or whatever, too. If we can't unlock it, we can destroy it, perhaps, but it's probably a fairly robust prison. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's kept her in prison there. Right. So we'll she, she, doesn't, she doesn't have a thunder cannon. Right, but she might have actual thunder. <laughs> right, so it may be anti magic bars like before, but we will know when you try and pick the lock, you can ask the description of the lock while you're staring at it. That is very fair. Yeah. I thought that we try to pick the lock. I vote we check the lock, and then if it's pickable, we pick it. If it's destroyable, we destroy it. I don't think we have enough time to even check. I think we need to get the jump on these guys and try and get a surprise round. 
No, no. I, I think at this point the surprise round is already done yeah. because they see us. Yeah. We Count might. Get, whoops, we would get one attack first, and then they would. Then initiative would kick in. Uh, assuming that they're not already attacking us straight up. However, if they're not hostile to us straight up, then that asks the question is, do we have to fight them if they're not hostile to us straight up? From Nate's description of initiative will come into play sometime later, that they're not immediately attacking, because we didn't if, immediately attack. If they're not immediately attacking, we should... We should use that. We should not way. attack them. Provoke their attack by opening the lock, but we gotta do that. Yeah. Yeah. They don't necessarily know that they've been seen. Yeah, so we can just pretend that we didn't see them and let them hope that they have a surprise round and let them attack us at their leisure. Yes. But can if we get actually... to open... Okay, because I'm close enough to the... to the cage to actually attack. Can you, can you actually take a defensive and wait? Yeah, I, I say everyone who's not... So, so basically what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ready an action that if yeah. one of these creatures get into melee range with me, I'm going to poke them. Fair yeah. enough. Uh, and I'd say we put a kind of defensive wall around of bodies around the person picking the lock, Yonovan, and we uh, just uh, have defensive actions ready or just do a dodge action. Though that might be too obvious. This sounds like a great plan. So, defensive I... wall, see if we can get, get the door open, get out of here, and jump to the trash compactor before they attack. This, this is a three <laughs> on my fists of fives, John. Yeah. I, um, I don't like this plan, it, but I'm it being does, outvoted. It does strike me as... Um, Optimistic? An interesting uh, opportunity, that w unexpected opportunity. Which is why I kind of want to try it to see what happens. Um, Feels like a, trap. a fifth, another combatant could really, really help. Uh, assuming she has magical abilities, but she's a druid, so she should. Yeah. She may be so, quiet. She may also be tapped out. She may not even understand our language. And she may be a way higher level than us too. We don't know. She but if nothing else. She's right. in common. <laughs> She's HP. She has HP, and assuming that she won't die when she hits zero. Assuming she gets saving throws. Three of these guys, and we nearly died, and we had all of our spells. Now we're basically tapped out of magical power, and we've got four of them, so... Any tactical advantage, if it comes to a fight, is necessary. Indeed. I would so. vote. I would vote that if they actually do attack us, we run back into the hall and use our ranged attack advantage while we, you know. Um, that would probably work so long as we're not completely surrounded and taking lots of attacks of opportunity or something terrible. That's what disengaging is. For. True. So we could all just plan to disengage and get back into the hallway if they attack. I'm good with that strategy, too. That's probably a good strategy, yeah. Now, granted, they can walk on the ceiling, potentially get... get <laughs> yeah, but the... Two, but still. No, the hallway was pretty small. It was like... Um, it was only five foot circle ovaloid thing ish. They they're gonna be within reach if they crawl on the ceiling, unless there's like tubes or something, ventilation shafts. I don't know. All right, I'm ready the to say the ceiling in the halls was actually about ten feet tall. Okay, but so if they're it was creatures... still difficult for them to crawl above us. It, it would well, be they could crawl thing. above us, but we'd get attacks. Not like we could stab them as they crawled above us. Correct. Yeah. 
They're going to. They want the suicide to try and unlock the cage. When that inevitably fails, we're going to try and retreat back to the hallway and, and keep it to where we can have a tank, probably me, standing in the front of the hallway and try and bait them into a to our deadly ranged attack. Oh yeah, that's where you should stand if we retreat. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good strategy. It'd be nice if we could just bait them one by one to come to us. Well, yeah, we could bait them one by one to come to us by shooting them right now. That would be a better strategy. Um, I, I think if we shoot any of them, they'll all four come. Yes, I know. If we were in a hall, that would be a better strategy. Uh... I still vote that we try and open the cage first. Because right, if we can get out of here with lighting... Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, I, what I want to do is that I want to back off towards the hallway. If they look like they're going to start to attack us, then we're closer to the hallway. Because I don't think... I think they'll, they'll either keep waiting, which then we can take all the time we want, to, you know, see if we can actually reach the cage. Or we can be in a better position that if they start to attack us, we can immediately get to the hallway instead of having some somebody in the middle of the room that may have difficulties actually getting back to the hall. That may work. <laughs> All right, well, back away and see if they follow you. So, just Kleak backing or everyone? Everyone, let's back away. I'm going to. Okay, so we got one going back. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I will, I'll slowly go back. Well. You guys can point to where you want to be and I can line you up too. Wow, what's with the lag? <laughs> I'll be the first out the door. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... So you want to be the furthest down the hall, Yonovan? I mean, since I was one of the ones that was farthest into the room, suddenly turning around and running would make them know that they were seen. And hopefully bait something in the I, I have I have a plan. Please back up space. I'd probably... Back up what? Truthfully, I'd I like for the rest of the team to back up. Down back the hall a little ways? Yes. Yeah, a space. Okay. Okay, so there's now space between you and the rest of the party. How far? My plan is is that I want to yell at them to let them know that I actually see them, and see if that'll see if they would actually chase them. Which then okay. they could go into our to a firing line. <coughs> Does that make any sense? Yep. Yell at them. Yell, 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 yell. So, so I'll take do? one step forward. Okay. And I'll point at this guy and just yell, I see you. Okay. And just stare at his eyes. And just stand there? Yep. I take a defensive post. Okay. A little perception check. Oh, I've been rolling so bad. Eleven. What's your AC? Sixteen. But you took a defensive stance. What is that? 
That means I'm dodging him. Then tell him you're dodging, because that's relevant. That means they have disadvantage? Is that right? Yes. Yeah, correct. Well, that's good. Cleok, you get this weird feeling in the back of your neck, and you're able to dodge as a pair of claws and a mouth come jumping out right behind you. And you see materializing from being invisible. One of them right behind you. Calvin! <laughs> Uh, Those of you who can see the board clearly and where things are, you're welcome to elaborate any description that you think would help. Okay. Well, are we uh, actually on initiative now? I we would be. You need so to... let's get initiative from everyone. I rolled 21 earlier. We have to roll back. Okay. I'm going. If we're going on initiative order right now, I'm going first anyway. Unless these guys outroll oh. me. You're right. So go go first, and then pull back into the attack zone. So, so the Talon actually move yet? Because I actually want to move to that. You would state. have to be... You are, you are 21, so you'd have to move first, then. So, no, no. Talon, hold off for a second, man. You're moving your guy off the board. <laughs> All right, I got you in position. Let me get everyone's initiative. Cleok was a 21. Right. <laughs> Cookie? 11. Talon? I'd like to read. 18. Ryu? Sorry, I dropped off audio for a second. Was this initiative? Yes. Yes. Ten. Yonovan? <sighs> I'd like to reroll my two. Whose TV is All right. on? Cleok. You're up first. All right. I'm going to stab this guy with my spear. Okay. Wait, you're not going to disengage and come back around the corner? Shh. Got a master plan. Totally not hitting with that. Nope. Key point. Step of the wind. I'm disengaging and moving to there. All right, Monk. <laughs> oh, my God. There you are. Anything else? Uh, I'll eventually move there on my screen. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm not doing much more. I, I yell out the One's coming. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, so next up would be Talon. Everybody, um, the Firebolts spell. Okay. You... Okay. Ready, Firebolt spell. So, so, so as soon as he comes in view, I can actually hit him. Okay, because usually you pick what you, the action you want to do as well as the effect that will make the action take place. Describe it specifically. A monster coming around the corner? Okay, well, as soon as I, I'm... Pretty much, as soon as I was yelling, he's coming here, so as soon as the monster's coming, he's going to be hit with a fireball. Fireball. Okay. okay. Assuming he actually followed. Yeah. Correct. Cookie. But I'm not going to fire until I can see it. Cookie does not have a ranged weapon, does he? Um, Don't know. Huh. I do not have a ranged weapon. You didn't take any thrown weapons? I thought you had something you could throw. Vicious mockery? No. 
Cantrips. Can you inspire someone? Nope. Can you delay your turn until... <laughs> can you get to level 3 so you can have more options? Uh, hey, get... we yeah. can do that one. Um, I, I am happy being melee, too. Uh, if that's something we need to be. Uh, Do you want to switch I'm... to the end of the group? with, Or switch places with uh, Yanovin so you're at the back of the group? Or did Yanovin want to be at the back of the group, potentially engaged in melee Yonovan's if someone comes the other way? Weapon. I'm really kind of hoping that you guys can still shoot him from this doorway, considering I didn't have enough room to go back one more space like I was hoping. Well, did you want to move back one more? Within sight, and you can shoot at him. Did you mean you I want would to like to move back one okay. more? Okay. I, I, I would... want to. I want to move to a location such that he has to enter the hallway to actually okay. chase me, not actually chase the doorway. It was a misunderstanding on my part. Moving people, I thought you were saying you wanted to go right there. So let me address people. But I still need to hear from Yonovan and Cookie, who's at the back of the pack. I'll take the back of the pack, probably. A rear guard makes sense for a melee fighter. Okay. I mean, I've got ranged, but I'm also lower on the initiative. <sighs> All right. Is that better? Yeah. All right. So that was Cookie. What are you doing? Um. Do you know ready anything? Dodging. Take a nap. Dodging. Dodging works. You done? Yeah. Rio, you're up. An Eldritch Blast, one of the monsters from the room to come into view. Okay. Well, or into attack range, or however you want to put it, but yeah. Come into view? It it's however good. you put it, not me. However, it has the least chance for confusion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will take it exactly really how you word it. You're a programmer. Program the statement. <laughs> Can I do soon the real minutes of me describing exactly how it works with all the FL sloops? If you wish. <laughs> Not sure if ready to actions work that way, but yeah. I mean, they're an if, and then else nothing. That's true. Right. A ready to action usually is just I can a chain a lot of ands and ors together. <laughs> if A and B, but not C, and D, or E, yeah. Just okay. to get to your initial statement. The goal is to not write obscure code. <laughs> but that's not how you beat the DM. <laughs> there, there you don't beat the, the DM. DM. The DM is on your side. It's supposed <laughs> to be. <laughs> All right. So now it's them. I haven't decided whether this is, you know, me lagging and I haven't seen the DM move the move the stuff, or he's trying to decide how stupid his monsters are supposed to be. They can cast spells, I doubt they're stupid. And yes, I know, there may be spell-like abilities. It's still probably intelligent to have spell-like abilities. And they set a trap. If you look at what they have, they're obviously some kind of a hunter. Weapons and invisibility and More sneak brain. attacks. All right. So, Cleoc, one of them is fuzzy looking, comes running around the corner. And 
gets right up in your face. You hear another one scurry yeah, overhead, but you can't see anything. That seems familiar. Well, the first one's probably gonna take out Firebolt. Yeah, all those ready yep. to actions trigger. And they all have disadvantage. <laughs> disadvantage? Indeed. He's shimmering. Okay. He oh, has. Oh, you gotta yeah. be kidding me. He's under the effect. Essentially, he's under the effect of blur. <laughs> so all attacks have disadvantage. 16 hit. Better 16 than hits. Link. <laughs> yeah. Blink is ethereal plane, and then back and forth. Uh huh. And in this edition, Blink, you're literally not here when it's not your turn. It's worth it. <laughs> ten damage. Where were these dice last time? <laughs> hey, ten's good. Well, that's your damage roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'll just blast for you. This way, they tell he gets agonizing blast if he wants it. Shoot. Um. Okay. That's an 11 hit. An 11, unfortunately, does not. Damn it, because the other one was a 22. I know. That's why he did that. They're not total idiots. Advantage is... Ain't it? Yeah. So is there any way we can give this guy... Or knock that disadvantage away besides flanking him. Dispel, flanking, find another way to get advantage. Okay, so we can't. Oh, you can. I can think of a few other ways, but it's not my job to tell you what to do. I don't know if someone in the party has all these different options. So I don't want to give you a whole you bunch know, of options can... that you don't have. You can trip him, knock him down prone. I'm pretty bad at that. Then I'd be kind of rolling. That, that really wouldn't help the ranged attacks, though. We'd still okay. have disadvantage. You're right. It would only help the melee attack. Okay. And just so you guys know, the sound you heard on the roof stopped around Talon's position. Can you poke that, like, do the uh, indicator on there? So it stopped in the middle of our group. Yep. <clears throat> kind of above uh, your Nate, head. Did you... Kind of where? Did I what, which, Cookie? Which color did you... Uh, never mind. Dang. It's pretty much above my... Ah, uh, shoot. Great! You are actually scaling to this where we have a chance of defeating, right? Thank you for reminding me that oh. cookie. Actually, he failed. Cool. So, Yonovan is up. That. And the guy in front of Cleoc doesn't seem to be fuzzy. Which actually, no, that would mean Talon's would have hit, too, because he went after Ryo. So, Talon, you can roll damage. Okay. Oh, hey, concentration. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Hey. You've got to roll these, <laughs> Are these magical abilities that we could determine with Arcana, or something natural abilities that we couldn't get any Try idea Arcana about? Try check and find out. Okay. That's too meta. Asking a question like that. Yonovan? Roll an Arcana I... check. Okay, 19 Arcana. It seems to have essences of similar to magic. Mm. However, it seems to be fueled through a different means than the weave. Okay. Yonovan? There we go. Now my mic's back on. Hi. Um, 
<laughs> so do I have one. a? I can see one. I'm In gonna shoot the one I can see. Okay. Is there? Is there? I mean, I I can't see the board, so I don't know what sort of line of sight I have or don't have. You have straight line. Well, I guess there's one. I mean, you have to shoot Perfect. through your team members, but. They don't give disadvantage in this edition for that. 17. And... 14 is my lowest. It's I not disadvantage, it. actually. It's not disadvantage? Nope. No. 12 is my first roll, too. So 14 to hit. 14 misses. So... Okay. That's all I can do. I only get one shot. Okay. Then Cleok, you are up. Plus two, you are up. Shame. How wounded does the one in front of me look? He's looking like he took some good hits. Not on but death's he... door. Got it. No. He could take a bit more. Well, considering I missed him. No, Good choice, Cleak. Good choice. Uh, Talon, you hit him. Eleven. But you, you said remember... fourteen missed. Right, but then I realized that his ability. I had to roll twice. To give you disadvantage. Right. Yeah. But he didn't have the disadvantage when you shot at him. Two. Oh, Which I, means thought I, shot I thought the first one 11. was. The DM the first one was twenty two. No. DM was confused. No, I'm just okay. that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm clarifying that yeah. Okay. But either way, I'm dodging if... and I do not move and end my turn. Cleok is done, so you are up. Talon. Okay, I'm going to <clears throat> fire. Um this time. How tall is the ceiling? That hits. Okay. It's uh. The ceiling is ten feet. Here to be uh, invisible. Three damage. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay. That would mean Cookie is up. Cookie, what do you want to okay. do? Okay. So what I want to do is I want to uh, move in next to Talon and uh, stab at the ceiling. Um, it's a single space hallway. You'd be having to squeeze and share space with Ryu or Talon. I'm pretty sure that would give us disadvantage or something else bad. Well, if there's a monster above our heads, I'd rather stabby at it than... Do nothing. Oh, hey. Huh. You would need reach to do that from where you are. I do have ranged weapons. <laughs> I've got ten darts. I thought so. Throw a dart at the guy in the front that we can see. Since he may turn shimmery again. Okay. Fine. Or you could dodge, and, you know, when you get, you know, surrounded from behind... Or not surrounded, but when you get attacked and everly from behind. Oh, you because think the that's guy happen? Because the guy on the ceiling's probably going to try and, you know, hit you. That's what I would expect. That. Or he's going to pounce in our space and we're going to have to try and figure out what the DM means by being really squeezed in the face. No, he probably <laughs> senses the same thing we do. You're right. Grapple checks! I dodge. Okay. Cookie is dodging. Ryu, you are up. Okay, um, well, Eldritch Blast seems like a good idea, so this one's going to miss. Nope. No, it's a 17. Or 22, actually. A 22 oh, it's hits. running slow for me. It's alright, 22 hits. Good, we need I'm, more damage. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that 10 again. 
Both ends of the spectrum. Oh, yeah, oh, it man. happens. Yeah. All right. He's like, what was that? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Good effort. You've done more damage this combat than I have by 11, so. Cookie, you hear noise above your head as well as the others behind you, and then you see one appear around the corner hidden from you a bit, and he has his hands and teeth start glowing purplish hue. Mm. Okay. Guys, there's one behind us. <laughs> That's not good. And, Wait, is there someone on the ceiling? Uh, I heard something go over my head, so... So that was the one on the ceiling. Probably. Okay. He's making shiny things with his hands around the corner. Oh, crap. This was part of your it. plan, right? <laughs> Don't get bit. I'm dodging. Most crash possible. My thir me and my 13 armor class are going to try to hold this one out. <laughs> oh, I thought your armor class was higher than that. Well, I'd like it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got leather armor, dude. Damn. All right. Why didn't you grab a shield? Barb's on London shields. Let's see, Cleok, you're not dodging this time, are you? I didn't think about that. I am uh, very much dodging this time. You are? Okay. I thought you attacked and didn't dodge. Nope. I'm not carrying a What's shield, your yet? sir. Because one hand has an instrument and the other hand has 16. a <laughs> But maybe I should have a shield. He miffed. Doing like the Neo Matrix stuff. You see the claws come at you and the teeth come at you and you're just like, woo! Miss me! <laughs> <laughs> okay with that. Cleac makes belly dancers look like they're and they can't move their <clears throat> abdomen very well. <laughs> <laughs> That's them. Yanovan, would you like to take another shot? He gets another shot. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, yes he does. <laughs> Am I a disadvantage or not? Nope. No. Alright. Don't fail me, dice. Are you rolling actual dice? Yeah, I can't see the map or touch the dice roller, so yeah, I got my dice roller out and my dice. Yeah, he's going so that's purely a audible. Two, 15. 15 hits. Yeah, you can hear it rolling in my tower. Okay, and I need a 2d6. 5 and a 2. 7. 7 damage is good. No bonus. You would laugh if you saw this, though. They're mini dice. Uh, okay, so he has a weapon that does 2d6, but it's a ranged weapon, right? Yep. So it adds a modifier, right? Dex? Nope, uh, I have zero dex. Uh, okay. That's fine. A gun wouldn't... I it, don't know. It'd be nice if it went off my strength. Then it'd have a plus one. Cookie, you can go is. look at Unearth Arcana's release for the Artificer, yeah. and you can see the regulations on it. That way your rules lawyering can be happy. So do that in between. Yep. Cleok, you're up. I'm going to... Now that this guy has been more damaged, I'm going to try and stab him with my spear. Stabby, stab, stab. Stabby. I look 20, I dude. think that hits. Congratulations. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see how much damage you can do. How about 10? 10 is good. He's bleeding wow. profusely now and doesn't look like he can hold on much more. Ooh. 
Key point, flurry of blows. That'll work. Let's see you do it. If you hit, he's probably gone. Gonna roll two d20s here. Uh, 11 and 20. You hit him twice? No, I probably only hit him once. Okay. First roll was 11. Okay, that's what you're saying. Yeah, the 20 would hit. Five damage. How do you want to do it? You take him out with your flurry of blows. <laughs> I like to think that I uh, throw, throw a talon at his neck and miss, but then come around with a swift kick to his, to his midsection. You do so. I don't know. You do swipe with your foot, and it looks like it's going to hit him. He slides back, and it misses, and he's like... <laughs> And this is the other one that comes right into his gut and he goes flying back into the wall and slumps. <laughs> Killed something! <laughs> Still alive! Uh, I'm not moving anywhere. Okay. Talon, you're up. Okay. Is there anyone... Because the only one we can see at the moment is the one that's by Cookie. You can't see him. I can sort of... I saw something around the corner. I think we'll have to wait for him to come out. Yeah, He'll you come. would have a... He'd have nearly full cover from you. At least three... You can ready an action cover. for it. Yeah, ready to action would be good. Okay, I'm ready in action for fireballs. So, so, oh, no! I'm ready in action for the ray of frost. Cool. Huh. Okay, so Ray of Frost for you. Ready to action is Ray of Frost. Down a bit. Under what circumstance? That he actually exposes his body to attack. Did I okay. can actually hit him? <clears throat> okay. So you're saying the one in front of Cookie, if he shows himself, you want to hit him with a Ray of Frost? Yeah. Okay. I actually, can I retcon my move? I want to take him. Potential move action. Okay. Weird. I I want to. What I want to do is that I try and move the guy. I want to take a look here and peek into the room and see if the person's still there, and then move back to my my position. You run into something there. Oh. Do you want to move back or do you want to stay there? I'll move back. And I yell, I got one of those invisible guys in front of me, too. <laughs> you feel like you headbutted something. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. So, that was Talon. So, hmm? I scream out courageously, we're all gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, you're theme up. Theme music, guys! <laughs> Cookie, <laughs> da, da, da. right on cue, you have, can do theme music. It's your turn. <laughs> Alright. Open up, bow. <laughs> I'm going to, uh... Well, I'm gonna consider it basically a free action, because it's non-combat theme music. Um, I'm gonna play some, uh, something fast and strumming while I'm dodging over here. Does that count as a talk? <laughs> you can't hit me, you can't hit me, I hope you can't hit me. <laughs> Well, one's down and we're all good. All right, At the so moment. Cookie's dodging and singing music. So <laughs> it's like Drunken Master bending and dodging while strumming away on his instrument. <laughs> Jackie Chan, we're in. <laughs> Ryu? Forbidden Kingdom. Okay, I'm going to ready an action to either uh, to fire an Elder's Blast at either the front guy should he become visible or the back guy, should he show more than a tiny sliver of himself? 
Why don't you just uh, hit it like the first uh, enemy line fine. that I see? <laughs> sure. Okay. The the, the first <laughs> enemy from, from the room that I see coming in that's uh, in full view and not uh, not in cover will get shot. Okay. That sounds good. Now it's their There's turn. The part where I die now because I'm not dodging. It's the 30th, right? <laughs> Cookie. Today is the 30th, yes. yes. One runs up to you that was glowing. And one on the ceiling hanging down also slashes at you. Oh, crap. Wait, that just <laughs> please, 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 don't hit, please don't hit me. What's your AC? 13. It was nice knowing you. Mostly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Those are some good rolls, guys. Is that a 25? Is that a crit? Cookie! That is a crit. Why <laughs> Cookie! <laughs> Cookie. Yeah. How did you avoid four hits? Because he's dodging. Because I'm playing my muse. Playing my muse. Playing my muse. <laughs> because one of them got blasted by a big Eldritch blast to his dome. All right, we'll resolve those now. Um, talk me through all those rules that popped already... up. <laughs> okay. Mine hit a 20 on the one that pumped up to attack Cookie. The one that's glowing blue or the one hanging from the ceiling? The one that's glowing. Okay. And it's six points into his chest and it's cold. So he's slow by 10 feet. Yeah. Okay. And Ryu? <laughs> Uh, I Eldritch blasted the one that was glowing because you you announced him attacking first, and so uh, I that was a nat twenty, so rolled two d ten for damage, which was an eleven total. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, nice. Talon hit one, and you hit the other. Well, we that's a good hit, one. though. Yeah, I, I, I thought we both hit the same one. That was the yeah. glowy hands. Oh, I thought Talon said he hit the other one. No, I said the one okay. with the glowing hands. Not a problem. Oh. That's easy to correct. And no Yonovan, <laughs> you are up after the other one attacks Talon. Well, that that's what happens. It triggered in the first one. <laughs> so that's what those things do. Yeah, no, I'm fine with it. I just, I misunderstood, that's all. So is one hanging from the ceiling attacking Talon now? Yes. Okay. The head that you headbutted appears in front of you and bites at you. Oh, great. What's your AC? 16. Okay. I need you so to nice. do Make a... Make that con save I rolled that one on. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. That's the one that hit. <laughs> oh, no. I... Probably passed my con save. <laughs> you did. Nice. You did, nice. and he did three points of damage to you. Good job. <laughs> Definitely good job in passing the con save. Yonovan, who do you level your gun at to blast? Do I have advantage on any of them? First, or are we being surrounded not the other way around? <laughs> no advantage on anyone. Sorry. Um, which one am I closest to? The one that the we two attacking the, the two one attacking that the blue hands damaged. All right, I'm gonna shoot glowy hands. That sounds like fun. Sounds perfect. Um. <clears throat> So the two that were invisible, they don't have any glowy special effect. Is that correct? Not right now. 
Okay, that was what I wanted to know. Thank you. Yep. I was so shaken from the motion that I, I rolled a 12. That's disappointing. It really is. <laughs> Kliak, you're up. I am up. I think your poor Dodging. dwarf needs to switch his uh, dex and strength. <laughs> Shoot. I'm dodging and not moving. Okay, nothing else? That's it. Talon. Okay, I'm going to freeze. No. Freeze blast the guy with the glowing hand still. Okay. Or attempt to. Nope. Yeah, that wouldn't. Sorry. Wait. Oh, wow. That really sucks. Hmm. That really sucked. Nine. Yeah. Darn. Anything else? Or are you done? Uh, hmm. Cookie, you're up next. Can I be dodging when chance to or no? We're being close to there. Takes, the takes the place of your attack. Yeah. Okay. Just just curious. Okay. Cookie. Rio, you're next. Okay, um, I'm ready. I'm definitely dodging and continuing my song because anything else would be insane at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Ryu hits for two okay. damage. Yep, uh, same shiny hands. <sighs> Figured. All right. So they're up now. Talon got missed. Ooh, missed by a crit. Mmm, drats. Yonovan? Cleoc. Yonovan. Cleoc. Got missed. Sorry, do you have a dex bonus or not? I guess he can't. Do you have any bardic inspiration left? Giving it to Yonovan would be a good idea. I do um, not. I'm sorry. What is your AC cookie? I believe you said 13? Thir yes, sir. Five damage. <sighs> to cookie? Yes. Darn it. Ooh, okay. I need a con save from you. Okay. <clears throat> and you took eight damage. Altogether, he took eight? Yeah, from the other one. Are you talking to so Cookie told... right now? Yes, you took an additional 8 damage from the other guy who hit you. And that's I why you need to do a con save. save. <laughs> yes, just the one con oh, okay. save. Alright, well I so got a 14 took... on the con that save. That passes. So, th the one that made you do the con save also did 8 damage. That's what the 8 damage was. The 5 was from the other one. So, total of 13. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. You know I, mean? I used to awake. You're up. Uh huh. Uh, barely. Are you all right back there? <laughs> been better. <laughs> Just been better. Please. Did we spend any of our wait, extra wait, money wait, buying wait, wait, a healing wait, wait. potion? We have a. I have a healing potion, or probably, since uh, you were insistent about it, I suspect that James has yeah. a healing potion. I have one. Okay, well, th that's good. Just checking. And wait. We did Jeez. shopping when I was away. And so okay, I dodging do was that up your armor class? No, what dodging it does is it imposes disadvantage on the opponent, meaning they have to roll two dice and take the lower result. Unless I have advantage, I missed. Yeah. 
But if if you're not one of the two people on the edges that are being meleeed, you probably shouldn't dodge. Yeah, Since I'm... they have not shown any ranged ability. Cleok, you're up. Well, given I have no ability to actually incapacitate this guy, and I probably can't kill him in one turn, even if I double crit for double max damage, uh, I'm going to keep dodging. Okay. So that would mean... As much as I would like, like to swap positions with Cookie, but... <gasps> okay, I'm firing at the one... No... Um... It's easy, so through. glowing? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm still I'm firing at him. He's taking quite Hopefully a bit of damage, too. Just... You've been whittling away at him. Uh, 12? No. Did hit? Unfortunately, Shoot. that does not hit. <laughs> uh... We've established his armor classes. Because 14's yeah. of I've done lots of twelves and fourteens. Anything else you're done, Talon? Mm. Are you Talon? I'm done, unfortunately. Cookie. Dang it. Dodge. Or are you gonna swig your well, potion? Or you said that Talon. I could is the swig potion. a potion. I um. Or we could feed it to you later when you're on the ground. Okay, so, so so here I want to bring to the group's attention. There's a moment of clarity, I'm not certain. Um, I suspect that we have only one potion between us, and James has wanted ownership of it this entire time. I I have written down one in my group, and I know he has written down one in his, and I'm not I sure. I found one in one. the chest. I know you did. Um, they sold it or something else. Didn't you guys buy no. one as well, or not? No, we didn't buy any because we were very we were saving gold. We didn't because buy any potions. For, for the other people members that, did, that never did, showed up. Yep. So we probably have one, and it's probably in James's possession. So assuming that information, I'm going to dodge. Okay. Plenty of moment of clarity was you know right before you died. Yes, it's always good real. <laughs> I drop my healer's kit on the ground in case someone needs to revive me. <laughs> hey, Cookie, you drop okay. something. <laughs> D does a 14 hit? Mm. The glowy hands. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Sorry, my plan okay. got us killed. This is a pretty dang good plan compared to anything else, I gotta say. Okay, Five damage I'm going cookie. to... Wait, so I'm not quite done yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Earths on the one hanging from the ceiling. Okay. So that should be my bonus action. Okay. And that does what? Um, so it'll help when I attack him, I believe. Let me pull it up real quick. Um, gain a bonus to damage rolls against the cursed target. The bonus equals your proficiency bonus. Attack rolls you make against the cursed target critical on a 19 or 20. Uh, if the okay. cursed target dies, you, you regain hit points equal to your level plus charisma modifier. Okay. And that's the one hanging... But Okay. It's so, the one that's hanging from the ceiling. Yep. James, it might have been nice if you gave me temporary hit points. <clears throat> um, that would be good was, to know for I, next time. I, Cookie, you took five damage and Talon took six. And it's Yonavin's turn. Cookie is turn. unconscious. Right, Talon or Cleok? Um, uh, Cleok, okay. sorry. I have to be touching you to get the hit points, right? Cleop Probably, took six. but you can generally go through your your friend's space to do actions. And I can attack and do this at the same time. No, no. 
I I thought you just did nothing on your turn. I don't. No, I was. He missed. Firing. He shot at a frostbolt and missed. That that. I've been that's attacking, better. but not hitting. Yeah, that's fine. We need to attack stuff. <laughs> okay, so, so cookies down. So I figured we can come quicker, but yeah. Cookies down. So cookies down. Okay, so there was one of he's above me, and I took six. No, 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 no. no. Cleok took six, not Talon. Sorry. I, I, looking on the map, your figures are right next to each other, so I saw yours before his and accidentally said you, but it's Cleok took six. Okay. He can't reach you. Yeah. Uh, point of order, it's probably not important because uh, Yanovan already said his deck score is zero. Uh, if you have decks, it does get added to weapons like crossbows. So it would get added to his thunder cannon. Yeah, it would. But I should have looked at that before I made it and not listened to someone else say, put yourself on wisdom and intelligence. Anyhow. <clears throat> <laughs> we might hey. find a way for you to fix that if you'd like. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it's my fault for not checking before I made the character. You're up, by the way. Technically, Narada did fix that, so. Fixed what? Um, there was some con uh, question as to whether or not. Uh, Dex bonuses were added to crossbows, um, ah, okay. especially since in the monster manual it was sort of right. both ways. Yonovan, you shooting at one of them? Uh, yes, and I hit one of them. Yay! Uh, 15 plus 2, so 17 to hit. Yep. And Which then a one? 4 and a 2 for damage. So Which one did you damage. hit? Is Gl Glowy still up? Yep. So you yeah, did six damage glowy. to Glowy? Yep, six Excellent. damage to Glowy. He's still up, dang it. <clears throat> not quite down, <laughs> How? but he's not looking too good. Really I don't know, like hanging on by a thread? He's a little more than a thread, but not much more. So, by his fingertips. I can take care of Glowy, help Cleok. A good Cleok. Eldritch shot would kill him. Come on, a good Eldritch shot. I will say this, during the game, people have done enough damage in one round to take him out by themselves. Alright. Cleok, you're up again. The guy in front of you has not taken damage. If you have key points, you can do flurry of blows and still dodge, I believe. No. Oh, flurry of blows requires you to attack. Right, 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 right. I'm out of key points anyway, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I can either choose to attack twice and then probably die, or I can dodge and probably live, but do no damage. Dodge is good. You dodge. can free up other people to attack. Yes, I, I'm dodging. I'm dodging. Okay. That means Talon's up. The numbers game. One of us is down, one of them is down. Wait. Talon? Who's down? I'm Cookie down. Cookie is down. No, 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 no. What? Okay. I'm asking Did the lower guy get down? No. Yes, one of theirs is down. But one of the, the four very first one. is down. Okay, that's what I was asking. The one that and then was the blurring one with Glowy came hands has been removed from the map. What? Uh, shoot the one from the ceiling. Glowy Hands is badly injured. Yeah. Okay. Glowy Hands is not on the ceiling. Yeah, no, shoot the one that's hanging from the ceiling. Why? Because Glowy I think I can take care of Glowy Hands. Okay. You the did guy that's on the ceiling. You curse the guy in the ceiling, so if they can take out the other guy, then you can start working in your curse target. I know what I'm doing. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it it, it kind of depends. And he misses, yep. so anyway. Okay. So, 
Um, is it my turn or Cookie's turn? It's your Cookie's turn because Cookie's right? down, so Cookie would need to do a death saving throw. Correct. And then it goes to your turn, Rio. Ooh, a death saving throw. He's doing that. So, <laughs> so I'm going to use my bonus action to do chilling hex. So the guy hanging from the ceiling is going to take three damage, and any enemy that's within five feet of him is also going to take three damage. So the guy below okay. him will take three damage. Is the guy below him still standing? Success. Yes. Dang it. But not by much. Uh, so. I'd shoot at him. Yeah, I, I gotta take him out. I wanted, I wanted him to die from the three damage so that yeah. I could shoot the the hex target because the hex target would take extra damage but okay uh i'm gonna shoot the glowy hands okay uh if it'll roll for me ah crap. 11 misses <laughs> yep Darn it. okay well my turn's up yep their turn Also, silly question. Is one of these four one of the ones we did from the other room? No. Okay. Of course, we wouldn't know that. Yonavan, they are crawling over the body of Cookie to go I for you. I think we'd notice it. Okay. What's your AC? Um, mine? Yes. Minus 12. <sighs> you got hit four times. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> and I need two con saves. Hit four times. Dang. Con, cool. I have advantage on... Hey, needing con. con saves is great, buddy. Because that means you're not down. <laughs> not necessarily. Well, um, a natural 20 plus 2. It's a poison. And a uh, 16. So yeah. And I have... <laughs> and I'm uh, against poison, too. How much health do you have? Oh. 18. Yeah, they Bad. just went over that. So I'm down now. Yep. Well, cool. I, I rolled the miss the next, next hit anyways. Yay. We'll let that be for your saving throw then. <laughs> so you pass that, because it's your turn. This is getting close. Cleok. <laughs> I guess I should start dodging, huh? No, uh, no we they start killing. to die. Um... I can do three damage every turn while dodging. Okay. I'm going to risk the opportunity attack. Go through my friends. And attack Glowy Hands. Wait, no, don't do that. Don't do that. He don't will die before he, he will die next turn. <laughs> I don't know that. I, I said my action. Okay, fine. Yonavan, Cleok stands over your body as you're black and dies, see nothing. You missed the bird butt. How disappointing. Cleok, you said you attack glowy hands. Yes, I'm attacking glowy hands. Hi. That would hit. It's a 19 hit. It would. Can you I can't guarantee you three damage or kill him. I was going to so. say, can you, can you do more than min damage? Yeah, that takes him out. Now, I'm going to feel sad if he had more than three hit points, but, yeah. Uh, bonus action. I'm going to attack the guy on the ceiling. Hey! I might roll, roll a 20. That, that would help. Yep, that would help. <sighs> hey, that hits. 
four damage to him. Talon, can you please pour a health potion in somebody's throat? <laughs> Except for the bad guys are standing on them. Question. Out of game, character. Would it do any good if they're out? If they're down and you put a health potion in them, they heal whatever the health potion heals. So it stops okay, them from I'm rolling saying, death saving throws. Them? Okay, so I wouldn't have to spare the dying first and then health potion. No. Basically, you ask them, like, you take your healing was... potion out, you, sh you shove it down their throat, and they wake up with however many hit points they got you. Spare the dying means you prevent them from dying if they keep having... Basically, you stop them from having to roll the death saving throws. So if you only have one health potion, okay. you use that they... on one, and you do that to the other. Okay, that's that's what I was asking. Because so, I, I was... It sounded like earlier at one point is that even if I did that, it might not revive them. So <clears throat> I'm All actually right. going to. It is your turn, Talon. Yeah, I'm going to move over here, Cookie, and pour the health potion down his throat. Okay, Cookie. Do you want to roll yes. the health potion, or do you want Talon to do it? I'll roll the health potion. I believe it's. What, 2d4 plus 4? Yeah, so you being the rules lawyer, I'm inclined to believe that's probably Let accurate. Let me look it up. I think that's right. <clears throat> 2d4 plus 2. Okay. The force on it better. <laughs> Not bad. Alright. Thank you. Wow. Hmm? That feels better. Can I also cast hmm. that spell at the same time too? No, that's no? an action. It takes an no. action to use. You do that and then you have like to move that. back. So, you're there behind Cleok. Ryu, you s decided to move up to the other guy? And I will dodge as well as the curse, which will cause three damage to the guy that's cursed. Okay. And then, so dodging, my AC is 16. My turn is over. Okay. That's Talon and Cookie. You would actually go right before Ryu, since Talon got you up. You want to stand up? Uh, yes, I okay. stand up. To do so, you're actually you behind be the other guy. guy, so you're now flanking with Cleok because you'd have to do move out of flanked? that space. Yes. You and Cleok have the guy okay. flanked, who's on the ceiling. I'm... <laughs> Let's stab you this <laughs> uh, Plus four. I'm not sure how this works out, but I'm okay with it. So, when he uh, stands up, he'd have hit. to not be sharing space, so I allowed him to shift. And he can't go Great. into your space, so he had to go the other way. Fair enough. The closest open space. And... 28 does hit. Well, it's not a 28. <laughs> oh, 16 does hit. Plus, yeah. Um, uh, 1d8 plus 2 damage. Nice. Nice. Debbie. Anything else? Um, no, that's it. Okay. So then it would be Rio's turn, and then their turn. Uh, this one's trying to decide who to go for, so it's gonna go fuzzy. And the other one's going to try to hit Rio. Ryu, you just had to avoid the dodge or you just had to avoid the crit why did you do that? you could have got critted man I could have gotten knocked unconscious as well could have joined oh. the party yeah don't be a downer <laughs> Yonovan Death saving throw. Oh boy. 
Haha, <laughs> 21. Success. So that's two successes now. And you need three to wake up, or...? So uh, not 20? Best three. Uh, the third no, one doesn't three. wake you up. It stabilized. means you're stabilized. Now, if you do roll a nat 20, you do wake up with one hit point. Yes. I forgot about that rule, but you're right. Now that you remind me. Thank you. Okay, their turn again. Wait. Wait. No, they just went. Then Yonavan did, because he was down. So, Cleox turn. Sorry. I'm getting confused. So, so I'm going to guys. stab this guy. I am flanking, but he's shimmering. So, I think it's just a normal roll? It is. Correct. However, if you hit him, then he has to make a concentration check. D does that hit him? I'm assuming that hits him. Yeah, that hits him. Yeah. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> Next damage. <laughs> he is not looking so good. But he does keep his fuzzy image going. Bummer. I wanted to roll two twenties here. Yeah, sorry. That's fine. That, that's fine. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to... No, he doesn't, because you went one point above... What was required to make it be the DC? Shift the DC, I believe. Uh, Cookie, what's the DC for concentration? How does it work? It's minimum 10 or damage. Right. And since it's damage, it's 11, so he failed it by 1. Okay. So he's not blurry. Hmm. All right. Uh, bonus action going to claw his face in. Okay. Let's see if you can take him out. Uh, Nat 20. That's a crit. Dang. Let's see your damage, dude. I think you'll do it. That'll do it. Nine points of damage. How do you want to finish this individual off? Who brought uh, low two of your friends? A jab with my talon ex extended. With my right talon right into his neck. Piercing it. So you stab him in the gut with one talon and then neck it with the other, or just one that's in the neck? Well, it's one that's in the neck because it's just a single okay. attack because I crit. So you slide your talon right into his neck, and as you pull it out, a nice spurt of blood just paints the wall between you and Cookie, and he slumps to the floor. <laughs> Touch Uni um, Univich, spare the dying. Yonovan, spare the dying. Okay. <laughs> Yonovan, you have stabilized. <laughs> you do not have to worry about rolling death saving throws anymore. But do I roll a d6 for seeing how long it takes to wake up? I uh, believe spare the dying just stabilizes you. Right, but do I do a d6 to figure out when I wake up? I it, do it's not a number of so. hours. It's. We, we'll do that at the end Something of the encounter. Around. Okay. Because if someone decides they find a way to wake you up before that, then it won't matter. Okay. So, at that point, we'll do that. Um, Cookie, okay. Ryu, you're next. Uh, well... Ryu is up there... Meleeing. You guys took out the one that Ryu had hexed. Uh, well, I will, let's see, I'm going to move to a space close to Ryu there, um, because there's, there's some room. Yep, you're there. Uh, would it be convenient for me to stab him with a, a rapier, or would that be impractical? You go into the one behind the creature, or behind Ryu? Because if you're okay, behind so Ryu, it's not a reach only. weapon. Yes, there's only one creature. Right. Okay. So I'm going to throw a dart. Okay. Dead. Um, let me roll that.
Miss. Ryu? Done. Ryu! Dodging it until stated otherwise, and that's all I can do on my turn, so. Just want to verify. Okay. Yep. And they're up. They'll try to hit you. Cleok, you're up. They missed. Yes, Yanovin, we did pass you because you're stable now. Uh, do I have enough room to actually fly? It would be difficult. So you could do an ath athletics or acrobatics check to do so, and then we would allow you to do so in this narrow corridors. Either that or BS monk stuff. Uh, my goal is to try and go up, fly above him, and end up in that space. Yeah, you could find a way to do that, being a monk and a live bird. Do I still need to roll my acrobatics thing? No, we can let you get there. Because you have enough movement to get there. Cool. I'm flanking this man. You are that indeed flanking him. That would hit. Do. 10 damage. Bonus action. Excellent way to start the damage. That'll hit. How's a 23 also do? Nice. That's a 70. really good damage start. Yeah. One point away from taking Yonovan out on your I'm own. So tired in that round. of you things, and you killed me, and you're killing my friends, and you you poisoned me, and. Ugh. All right. I think I'm. Talon, you're up. You see Cleoc go buzzing past you in a blur, and just wail on this thing from behind. Went from being unscathed uh, to now having some blood seeping out of its carapace. That misses, unfortunately. Hold on. Hold on. Got his Azimar ability to add like a D6 or D4s or. Yeah, so I had six to that, so I'd, it's a 20 to hit. That hits. <clears throat> so you do six and zero? So <laughs> no, no, it's... Probably spam the roll button. Well, if Cleoc does his it's... turn again, this thing's going to be dead. So let's keep this rolling. Cookie? So which one? Hold on one second. You assume he doesn't kill me in the time that... <laughs> Who did so... you get that for? Cookie. I believe Talon's done. If not, Talon can say he's doing something. But your turn and then... Okay, Korea. what did you mod my attack as? Uh, six damage. Did you have any mod on that? Okay. Just tell me if there's a bonus. No. There's okay. no bonus, unfortunately. I wish it was, but... <laughs> no, that's cool. I took it as no. six because it said six. Yeah. It's been not taking when it when I hit it, so... That's confusing, uh, okay, Cookie. What? Would you like to inform me of what... Uh, four, four, three, the, eight, The two. eights were not my fault. <laughs> okay, um, so you did a ten? It's a ten. <laughs> that would yes. miss. I threw a dart. I did not Ryu? hit. That would hit. Ooh. In fact, that's a crit. Ooh, nice. Let's see how much <laughs> damage you can put into this booger. Two wands. <laughs> Nine. <sighs> Cleoc, roll a dice. Not enough to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a dice. Just roll a dice. Is it my turn? 
Nope. Roll, roll a dice. He is barely standing. Dang it, Cleok! My bad. I wanted to just put a... Sorry, I had to have it be That's someone just... other than you, and he, he was right there, so... Almost. <laughs> I know. I, I was like, one one point of health, one point of health. Really? One point. One. <laughs> so I figured I'd roll so high, high, how you get a bonus damage low, you don't get the bonus point of damage. Their turn. If it has any sort of intelligence, it's, it's going to try to run away now. What's your AC? <laughs> Who is the ball? 16. Ryu. 16. He can't run away. We're on either side. I mean, I guess he could jump Zone up. Zone damage. But... Okay. Ouch. Do I need to do a con save? No. It was his talons. Okay. Cleok, would you like to finish them off? I'm surprised he can hit that hard. <laughs> uh, not with that roll. <laughs> not can't with that one either. No. Bonus attack. You're fine. Oh, he did. Dude. Dude. All right, Talon, <laughs> your turn to try to take him out. <laughs> I, I Cookie, would <laughs> you like to try to take him out? <laughs> Who are being so desperate? Oh, shoot. Cookie, you, if this gets bad, let's see if you take him out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, We're fine. We're so exhausted at this point. Um... Please throw your spear through his face or your dart. <laughs> there Cookie. you go. How do you want to <laughs> take care of this guy? Cookie! To the rescue! For the eye. Right Cookie throws the eye. a dart. It goes right through the creature's eye. It, the creature just slumps back into the arms of Cleok. Oh, wait. That's his spear sticking through his gut. <laughs> I don't get aside disgustedly. Gonna shoot him for what there was. In okay. irritation, Ryu goes ahead and blasts the corpse as Cleok dumps it aside. <laughs> wow, oh, this is crazy. Um, I hate these things. Does anyone want to try to get Yanavin up? Or what are you all going to do now? I don't have the ability to. Does anyone have healing? No. <laughs> hey, I do. Let's go uh, drag him into the room and ask the person in the cage. First off, I want to look in the room and make sure the person's actually still there. She's still there in a cage. Looking interestingly not at the door, curious to see what's going on, but obviously not able to move since she's in a small box. I wish I had more healing spells there, but I'm gone. I have nothing left. Rio's gonna I like this. approach her. And, I like this. Go ahead. Uh, ask her, um, Miss, uh, do you have anything you could do to uh, help us out? One of our companions has decided to take a nap. I'm in a cage. What do you pose I'm capable of doing? I don't know. I've seen lots of people who are capable of doing useful things from in a cage. We could swap. Perhaps if we let you out. Excuse me. Yonavan, but... go get her. Wait, Yonavan. Yon Yonavan's knocked out, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. I'm going to inspect the lock. <laughs> Excuse uh, me, but, but how long have you been here? What, what is your name? I've been here for a very long time. My name is my own until I know who you are. 
Uh, just... We're the guys trying to break you out of prison. I'd appreciate it if you'd introduce yourselves. I'm Rio. You're trying to break me out? You don't know who I am, yet you're trying to break me out. Well, if those monsters have you locked up... <laughs> enemy of my enemy is my friend. It's a logical approach. I can't move my character, but Cookie would come in. Cookie, you're moved up nearby as well. Um, we were sent here. I can't move my character either for other reasons. Guys. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Uh, dear lady, it looks like we would try to take you with us no matter what, but we were sent uh, out here to rescue a female druid named Bonda from the cultists of Chateau Ra, or whatever you say it, uh, on on the guys that she could help prevent some great catastrophe. We weren't really sure what that's going on for, but uh, we found that contract and we pursued it, and it <laughs> led us to this planet, and it led us to you. Uh, oh, Cookie, as you say the name Cult of Chateau Ra, she, she just starts laughing. You really don't know them with how lovely you failed to pronounce their name. Uh, I appreciate the rescue. Yes, I was attempting to prevent this catastrophe that they brought upon us, and yes, I failed. Hence, that is why I'm in this cage, because I wasn't able to prevent it, because I was in this cage. It's an interesting situation. Our thief is well, while, this, out. while this is going on, I want to drag Yonovan in the room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cleoc drags Yonovan in the room. Unfortunately, this lovely cell is built with um, some crystals here on the top that uh, channel all magical ability away, so you can do absolutely nothing. It's so much fun and relaxing. You should try it. But you can get Yonovan's lockpick out of his bag of holding and give it a go. I have suspected Who? that without any skill at lockpicking, I might be able to try it. Who? Wait, wait, wait. Do you wait, know wait, how wait, to wait. open your cell? <laughs> guys, 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 guys. With a key? Guys? Do you know where said key is? Uh, hey, guys in the group? Yes. Um, it has a lock, right? <laughs> Yes. You have something that can I can freeze the lock, and you can shoot it. Unless the whole thing is anti-magic. We could try it. But, and I could but try freezing the key it and see thing what sounds incredibly intelligent. Let's pursue this line of thought. Okay. I'm just throwing out an idea out there. She so. sits there cocked-headed looking at you all. You are very strange folks. <laughs> Yes. I do not deny this. <laughs> do you know where the key to your cell is? My guess would be on the one who leads them. Shoturak himself. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, did. <laughs> I'm guessing he wasn't one of those four. No. Probably not. She gives you a very interesting look. Like, are you serious? <laughs> Man, she needs to learn sarcasm. Uh, I think she has sarcasm. <laughs> She's proficient in sarcasm. <laughs> Cookie goes over and tries to rummage... Uh... So, the uh, thieves, thieves' keys that I've seen in there, and see if there's any healing potions or something inside his pack. Jonathan, so, do you happen to have a healing potion in your pack? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I didn't buy one, unless I found one. So, forgive my ignorance, but would you be able to free yourself if we were to somehow... if we were to attempt to smash the crystal on your cage? I have a Seen feeling that's a bad idea. Above it, in a situation where you'd have to break through the metal first anyways, you could just break through the metal if you're able to do that, and I could get out that way, but you know, possibly. 
Cookie does not have the strength. Who is Strink? Hey, we could just smash it. Hey. Uh, back away. Um, it is Let me try... metal. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to try Rare Frost. I I'm going to assume it's not a padlock. Okay. Ryu, you inspect the lock. It is a pretty standard lock that you've seen. Does Use it, my uh, thieves uh, tools, guys. Hold on, let me do an arcana check to see if I notice that the anti-magic is affecting the lock and the cage itself. Hey, 18 arcana check. The cell itself does have a slight magical essence, but the lock is not magical. So, do I think that right, a, an attack from external would get through? A magical attack. Uncertain, but you'd think that a magical attack could get through this cell, potentially. However, what effect it would have once it reaches the zone of the crystal would be uncertain. Okay, I, I say to everyone, hey, we might be able to bust it out with magic, but I don't know what in the world's going to happen when that magic hits the crystal zone. So um, we might set off an alarm or we might blow the place up. I bet Mondo <sighs> knows what happens when you... Cast, tries to cast magic. Uh, why don't we ask her? Good luck with it. You're likely to wind up possibly gaining attention of people and probably having no other effect. Okay. Um, hey. I should have found um, the thieves' tools by now. Indeed. Ryu's gonna s go down, find a comfy corner, and sit down for a rest. Okay. Um, Is there anything? Can we explore the room? See if there's anything in the room? There's garbage heaps, but yes, you can roll an investigation on the garbage heaps. Uh, I would like to go down and shut the store completely. Okay. What and about the other two doors? And attempt to lock it. There is no lock. Where the lock would be, it's kind of just falling apart. But as Rio said, there are two other doors in. Oh man. Yeah, I'm really bad. What did you roll for? That was investigating one of the piles? Yeah. You find there's a bunch of scrap. Alright, um, let me know when we've completed the amount of time for a short rest. <laughs> Well, it depends. Is anyone else? Is uh, Cookie? Were you going to try to use the thieves' tools? I, I am. I am going to try. Okay. Uh, I think I can use it, even if I'm not proficient. But I think it'd be near impossible without the tool to try to open a lock. Probably. Yeah. You're also a silly bard with jack of all trades. Yes. Not yet. Let's, Let's see what level. you got. Oh yeah, we've killed six of these guys. Have we gotten any experience from last time and this time? You I have, guess. and I am tallying oh. it up. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. How much do you need to level up? I am at 475. If I remember right, it was 900. Correct. Wow. Okay, guys. Congrats on your nat 20 for your thieves. <laughs> 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 wow, John! This is easier than well. it looks. <laughs> well done, <laughs> we... Cookie. We don't Yonavin. need Yonavin after all. Yonavin, in your dreaming state, you hear the noise of your thieves' tools being so expertly maneuvered into a lock, and it just springs <laughs> open with ease. Congratulations, the door's open. My fingers curl unconsciously <laughs> into middle fingers vertically raised. <laughs> to which, Yonavin, your hand relaxes as a soft female hand that's uh, somewhat rough as well, well-worn but gentle, curls around your hand and puts it down, and you come back to consciousness staring into the face of a female elf. <laughs> oh hey, we were looking for you. <laughs> K 
Can we get out of here? Good, good morning, Yonovan. <laughs> we have nothing. We're drained. Looks like we survived finished. after all. <laughs> You're right. Uh, we have nothing. Yonovan. Drained, but we got to get. Yes. Yeah, Looking here. at her, you see past her through the bars, a halo of crystals that look very intriguing to you. I walk up to them. <laughs> you feel your essence of magic depleted Whoa. and just vacant. A devoid feeling you're not used to. It's very uncomfortable. Any spell like or spells that you have are completely gone, as though they've been expended. Didn't have any. Interesting. What do you wish to do? Something, Jonathan? What I wish to do? I want to harvest it with my uh, hammer. Okay. So seeing, you're going to throw your hammer up at the ceiling? Go. What? You're going to throw your hammer at the ceiling? No, no, no. The, uh, the crystals are on the, the ceiling. Oh. Yeah. Rio's going to go inspect the crystals as well, seeing that the lock is opened. Guys, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. Crystals are nice. There are more crystals in other places. Uh huh. I shoot the ceiling. Congratulations, <laughs> the gun goes off. The crystal <laughs> cracks. See how much damage you do. Six. A small piece falls off. I pick it up. Let's go. And you hear the building start vibrating. Roll a deck save. Oh, let's go. Great. Yanovan, roll a deck save. All of us? All of us? Yanovan, roll a deck save. Uh, 11. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you did <laughs> receive 10 points of health back. Let's see how much you lose. Uh, uh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> From what? We'll see soon enough. Oh, crap. I mean, I may have just made the ceiling start coming down. <laughs> or there's a magic defense system. You take seven points of damage as the rest of the crystals fall because you dislodge the wrong portion and they come crashing down on top of you. You are now prone and you've taken seven damage and the whole the building is vibrating the with a loud I noise. I sh put a bunch crap, of them in the crap, bag crap, of holding crap, 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 and crap, crap, run crap. towards the door. Run out. Rio's gonna <laughs> grab one that's a uh I'm grabbing nothing. Go, go. Okay, so you guys are I'm all running. We... I will take the lead. Okay. We're exiting as quickly as possible. I run <laughs> I want to I am calling I... the guy. Grari, Grari, come in. As as bad you. as this as bad as this is going to sound, since I'm a BS monk, I'm going to Outrun my companions and see if there's still an angry mob at the port call Sounds like a okay. No, the angry mob I is all running. Second to left. Everyone is running away from the tower. Oh, cool! Get In the fact, door open. The top of the tower. Get the door open. Seems to be ripping open. As you look up, as a piece of metal lands beside the, the door, I can't hear anything. You're all able to exit. Can you hear me? Now we can. Now we okay. can. Okay. You're able to exit, and as you look up, you see the top is ripping open, and a huge creature, like the ones you fought, is up there and just roars with anger. And you hear in your head, oh, you will not escape with my prize. Okay, how do you guys want to get away? The ship is Rari, on route. Grari, come in, come in. Grari responds, <laughs> Cookie, that they're on route. They've locked in your signal, and they're going to be as quick as they can. But you're going to have to try to get away from this thing in the meantime. So we're going to yeah, do a little bit of a skill too. challenge for you all. Oh, we're good at these. <laughs> And we'll pick no, up there next week. I think week. we need to stop. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yay! Okay. 
We have nothing. This will be interesting. For one out, and then God shows up and says, "Screw you." <laughs> well, no, no. This is a, a run away as fast as you can and hope not to die. <laughs> I run faster than all the people. I'm going to live. Only if the ship picks you up, buddy. It'll be yeah. interesting to see what you guys choose to do next week, but it was fun. You guys did well. Um, let me quickly tabulate here. If we level up, some of us might run faster. <laughs> well, for, about for the creatures you defeated, you receive 280 experience. 288? 280. 280. So, we'll pick up there next week and see what kind of fun you guys can have getting away from this guy. <laughs>